We are entering Pennsylvania right now. We just crossed the Mason-Dixon line. Day 88, 89, I think it's 89. We hiked 17 miles into- South Mountain. South Mountain Tavern. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. We're in like a little local bar, which is really cool. It's a hotel too. Yeah, there are rooms upstairs. So that's Free neat. tenting in the grass and- Free shower. Free shower. on day 91. It is almost three months on the trail. So today we did hit the halfway mark. We got to uh, Pine Grove Furnace, General Store, and I did the half gallon challenge. And I finished. Finished in a little more than an hour, and I felt super good about myself. But then I was like, ugh, I felt like crap. <laughs> so currently we're doing about 26 miles to a shelter. I don't remember its name. And I'm feeling him. If I ever took him back, he would get off in a heartbeat. So uh -huh. maybe, I don't know if he made it. I don't know. He's not feeling well. Jonathan isn't, or Sheriff is not feeling well. Um, today was just tough anxiety wise for me. 1200. 1200. Day 96. Really rocky day today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's super rocky. That's why they call it Rocksylvania, I guess. Rocksylvania. day 101 when you're the first out of the shelter or the campsite though you know what that means what's that mean Jonathan you get all the cobwebs you get all the cobwebs Woo! which is Jonathan's favorite part really okay so it's actually day 102 I got that wrong Hey, so somebody actually just walked by, so we're off the hook. No more cobwebs. No more cobwebs. <laughs> we generously let him go by.
The rocks never stop. That's where we're going. This right here is just a line of rocks. It's raining. <laughs> Pennsylvania is stupid. This is such a cute little town. Look, that plant is eating ice cream. Hardest section of the trail. Something to know when you're hiking the Appalachian Trail, don't do this. Don't start the trail with multiple pairs of shoes thinking, oh, when these shoes go bad, I'll just get these other shoes that I already bought. That doesn't work for one main reason. When you're hiking the Appalachian Trail, your feet get a lot bigger. So, especially his. Especially my feet that were already really big. Started at a 10 and a half. So I had like two other pairs of 10 and a halves. There's a warranty problem. So I got another pair, got 10 and a half. Those were too tight because my feet got bigger. So I needed an 11. Those shoes wore out when we went home for the wedding. Yeah. And that's where I had these shoes right here. So these are Salewas, Salewa wildfires. They're approach shoes, so they're really good for rocky terrain. Yeah, really good for rocky terrain. And we were in Pennsylvania, which is really rocky. So I thought, hey, these might work, but they're 10 and a half. So I wore them around all weekend just to see if they fit. And uh, they felt fine, but walking around, hanging out with friends is not the same as hiking. So I decided to bring those back with me and we just hiked the hardest, rockiest section in Pennsylvania for three and a half days. And now... <laughs> so yeah, um, the next pair of shoes that I'm ordering are 11 and a half. And I've been wearing 10 and a half the last three days. That is so gross. It was good though. Terrible. I yeah. couldn't eat it. There's no way. <laughs>